when he said familiar face, I literally like leaped onto him and I was like, I literally went. Sh and I, when yes, you did that, yeah. yeah, we both went. Like, when you did that, yeah, I was like, this is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story. Her <laughs> It's Saskia, and today we are joined by the beautiful Joanna and Jack. Hi! How are you guys? Yeah, good. Good, you know. You're just waiting for your... Okay, I thought it was a surprise right. for you guys. So, how do you guys actually know each other? So, in our, well, our area, yeah. there was like three schools, and I went to one, Jack went to the other, and there was another one. And then I was close to your group of friends. Just growing up and went to the same clubs and parties together, as like separate groups, and yeah. just... Yeah, and then Love Island happened, and then I went on it, you went on it, mm. and signed to Web Industries, same management, Yeah. and here we are. But it's so yeah. mad that you both went in like after each other, and you were so close as well, like from yeah. home, like the fact yeah. that you were both going one after another. When you were going in, did you tell Jack? Yeah, like Jack mm. knew. Because yeah. what it was, is Jack showed a picture to our manager, and was like, oh my god, this girl I know looks like you, and it's a picture of me. And then that same day, my brother showed a picture of me to our manager's husband mm -hmm. and then literally like she went home and was like oh like look at this girl and they went oh my god we've just been showing her today as well so it was like two people in one day shared the same picture and they thought right let's see what we can do and get her onto it so i do thank you for getting me getting me in contact with them though right. this is like once a lifetime opportunity and then so happened. you essentially got onto the vibe because of jack you no, were i don't like i don't you were no, no, to jack. i don't like that i don't like that with the catalyst to it happening but yeah. me we'll your face her. got you onto the vibe yes you got Joe's face across. Yes. I think you came really well, like, across them, I feel like. And I think your friendship came across when you left as well, because I know, I remember seeing the pack pictures of you at the airport, mm. and everyone was like, mm. scandalous, yeah. how do you guys know each other, what's yeah, going yeah. on? Yeah. Well, I, said, I was backing her when she was in the villa. Okay. So I think, and I, I said, like, oh, I've known Joanna since, like, 13, 14. So then, when, when you come back to the airport, um, and it was in the press, I was just a bit like, well, it's looking a bit, it, look, it looks it looks different to what it is because we've yeah. known each other for ages and I think yeah. it's when I, I jumped on him when you ever seen a, like a familiar face in so long obviously mm. my time on Love Island was really good but also really tough when you see that familiar face I literally like leaped onto him and I was like I literally went and I, when yes, you did that yeah, yeah we both went like, when you did that yeah I was like this is gonna be <laughs> <laughs> this is a story <laughs> how would you describe your friendship I think it's good I think we've got yeah. a healthy friendship yeah it's healthy you got problems, I help you out. If yeah. I got a problem, I help you out. And when it comes to things within the industry, if she's not too sure, I'm not too sure about something, we'll talk to each other about it. Yeah, I was gonna say, because you're literally both in the same yeah. yeah. it does yeah. probably make things a bit yeah, easier because yeah, yeah. you know exactly how the yeah. other is. And we've got both, like, our interests are like good for each other, don't mm. we? So if sometimes you speak to someone, they might be more business minded, whereas we might say something to each other and it's purely because we want each other to do well. Are you a bit of a protective older brother? I mean, no, you're literally a year older, but. No, I mean, if. When it comes to, I don't know, when it comes to relationships and stuff like that, like, if she's happy, he's cool, him. Mm. Has anything ever happened between you two? Like, even, like, a cheeky pack? No. no. Nothing's ever no, happened? No, no. no. I feel like even if it had, you'd be like, yeah, that's probably not a thing. No, no. no. I think that'd be kind of weird. That'd yeah. be weird. It'd be awkward. Would it'd it be, be like kissing a brother? Yeah, it'd be like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah absolutely not. Just always being yeah. just friends. Yeah. But I think that's good, though, because then there's no mm -hmm. complications. Yeah, exactly. So this is what we were waiting for. Um, <sighs> Tell me I don't look good! Tell me I don't look good. Because if you say I don't, you're lying. <laughs> he knows himself you're lying. Oh, God. I feel like you've just got this massive ego boost now. So I can feel the... Bruce, what's my name? What's my name? Just call me the Fowler Don. All right? The, the Fowler Don. The Fowler Don. Fowler Don. Fowler Fowler Don. Fowler Don. Don. There we go. Fowler Don. So before we were rudely interrupted by Jack's stunning fur coat. Mm -hmm. uh, what is one thing about the other person that someone might not know? Your dad loves doing barbecues and has a shisha pipe and you've got two dogs. Right. And you've got an Audi. And you've got a sister and you've got two brothers. Um, I mean, it said one thing. Sorry, I'm just reading off the whole life <laughs> story right now. I'm reading off the whole life story. Oh, sorry. I'm going to tell my trust as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm going to tell my bank card details. Oh, sorry. Okay, so considering he gets a lot of girls, he's had two serious relationships, so... And... Mm. Um, that's probably... I don't want to say anything anymore. If you felt like either of you were dating the wrong person, would you feel like you could say something? Absolutely. Yeah, I've done it to her before. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 
There's been times where I've been like, mm. or you just said something to me and I'm lit, like red flag. Yeah, or like he's like maybe like talking to someone. I'm like, oh, I heard this and this, mm. but not really sure about them. Mm. So if you had to pick someone for each other from this year's series. Who would you pick for Jack? And Jack, who would you pick for Joe from this year? Mm. <laughs> I think I'd pick Molly for you purely because. She's beautiful, you're good looking, you've like a really good couple, personality wise. I feel like she's very like, she's, you can tell she's got a bit of banter, but she's also very soft and very like loving. And I think you mm. like a bit of a loving, affectionate person. Mm. Maybe Luke M, maybe Justin Bieber. You nice. would look good together. You'd look good with I don't think he's my type. Really? Yeah. You like tats? You're not like tats. Yeah, like they're all right, yeah. Yeah, I don't really, it's not really a necessity. He seems like a cool guy though, to be fair. Yeah. Like, he's quite cool, he's, quite, he's a good looking fella. Got bang off. Were you like nervous to go in when you went in with Michael? Oh, I was. Because you well, knew it was going to go down. We were standing. I feel like it would have been easier walking in because then you have the instant like, like sort of issue, like tension. The build up of the tension when everyone else is walking in, you're like, oh, I know it's coming. And I knew they saved me till last as well. And I was like, oh, this is like awful. Um, yeah, my face was just like. I'm just hmm? <laughs> just just laughing. Just laughing. Oh. <laughs> Stop taking away my life. Sorry, sorry. I'm enjoying telling my story Go here. On. Let me begin. Uh, let me continue. So, yeah, and then I felt like attention was building up and then it happened. It was just so awkward. And, like, everyone was like, why didn't I say anything when Amber came in? Like, when everyone was kicking off. And because I didn't actually know what was going on. And for me to get involved in a situation I wasn't there for, it would have been just a little bit like me standing there going, well, no, he didn't say that. And I'm like, well, yeah, he did. You know, it was just yeah. a bit awkward. But, yeah, it was really, really awkward. Like, I think... And it was so cold as well, so I was like trying to like stay warm, and I was like, my face was like, I want to cry, I'm going to cry. You had a pretty cushy while you were in there. You had two yeah, girls. you always put your feet up, like, in there, <laughs> choosing which one you want. So not even, not even. I went in there. I, no one really want like when I coupled up with Laura, original Laura. No one, I, I set the precedent earlier. I was like, do not even try and break me and her up. So no one really tried. No boy tried it. Tried it, and then um, yeah, surf Laura, new Laura come in, and. Um, what made you turn to Surfer <clears throat> Laura? Um, me and original Laura a bit rocky. And then um, then Surfer Laura and I was just kind of just chatting away. And then, yeah, I think at the time I was kind of just single. I was in the villa, not in the couple, I was sleeping on the sofa, I think. And then, yeah, Surfer Laura come in and it just kind of went, went from there. I didn't have to remember a new name, so it was really easy. Yeah, really, yeah. really simple. Oh my god, I got the same name, so that's really awkward. And they were both blonde. Oh wow. Do you know how many times a blonde Laura has come up to me and gone, I'm Laura as well, and I'm blonde? And I'm like, uh, oh. <laughs> that's the you made the uh, <laughs> Didn't tie my middle name, sorry. <laughs> you had it pretty easy compared to Joe. Um, yeah. yeah. I did, I love yeah. that. I, I did. <laughs> I was like, oh my I god. Did, I did. But, like one of the most amazing time of my whole entire life like it was so much fun like me and Curtis were like brother and sister in there and like I got along with all the boys and then at one time me and Michael were sitting there like tears down our face crying like of laughter because it was so we just like entertained ourselves and had a laugh and the girls were so lovely as well so overall it was amazing but then it's, there is that little bit of element of it that I'm a bit like oh I wish it weren't like that but yeah. at the same time it's made me who I am today like it's just made me like work for what I'm getting and just like just show people who I am so out of the people that are left currently at Castle Amor and at the normal villa, who do you want to go to the final? Who would you want to win out of who you've got now? I really like Finn and Paige. I think throughout this whole like situation that's been going on, they've been in the background a little bit, and then now their strength in their relationship has, well, coupling, has just shown a lot, how like strong they are and how they actually do really like each other. And I suppose Finn would have strayed by now. I don't think one of the winners is in there yet. That person. I don't know who they're going to couple up with, but it's going to win. Well, that's all we've got time for interview-wise. Thank you for answering all my questions. You were very good you. interviewees. Very funny. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Who's your type, man? Because I'm not blonde, light, like blonde, light, light, blonde. Like, like, but look, but like, like, like blonde, like, <laughs> like, 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 you know, like, but blonde, like, blonde, like, like. Yeah. <laughs> what did you just <laughs> say, bro? Hats off to you, you know? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you got a hat right there, huh? <laughs> <laughs>